Horns up and welcome to another Headbangers Kitchen video. I have to say I'm completely blown away. I'm overwhelmed and I'm humbled by your love and your support. Uh, thank you all so much for the comments that you left on the last video. I am truly, truly grateful to have such amazing support from you guys. Um, seriously and you know what i am getting better uh, my sort of uh, scars are healing so to speak to be a little poetic and curry week is going to resume in about two days time you know what i don't have much pain anymore so i can cook and i'm going to be up and running from next week so thank you all once again for the support curry week is going to kick off asap now I had promised that I'd do a Q&A for you guys and that's exactly why I'm making this video. You guys submitted a bunch of questions and I thought, you know what, I should answer them all. But very quickly before I go into the Q&A, before I started doing keto recipes on Headbangers Kitchen, I did a small series called Bacon Tadka. Bacon Tadka was basically me taking classic Indian dishes like tandoori chicken, butter chicken, chole bhature, biryani and baconizing it because you know what bacon makes everything taste better and you know in our Indian cuisine we don't really use bacon at all so this was something interesting that I enjoyed doing and I did this little mini series now the reason I'm mentioning it is because we made some merchandise for bacon tadka and it was only available on our Indian web store redwolf.in and just a few days ago, a couple of people commented saying, can you make this available on the USA web store as well? So I just wanted to let you guys know that we have now made all the designs available on the USA web store as well. If you've not seen it well, let me just show you what it looks like. Well, look at that. Yep, it's, it's a pretty cool, like pig <laughs> and uh, this is the same guy who's going to be designing the new headbangers kitchen logo his name is Gaurav Basu aka the acid toad anyway I leave a link for all this in the description box below but for now enough jibber jabber and let me answer your questions all right so the first set of questions comes from Julissa does stuff and she asked me did you go to school to learn how to cook nope I have not had any formal training as such in cooking I did however take cooking as a hobby during my uh, high school years uh, which wasn't really very i mean i don't remember being taught anything extraordinary in that class at all it was just come and cook stuff and then you go around to the teachers lounge and feed the teachers so that was about it i think i learned most of my cooking you know watching uh, my grandfather my mother my grandmother and different grandmother that's why and uh, the maid who used to live in with us when we were growing up so i think i just picked it up from there and uh, before i started headbangers kitchen i actually really got into watching youtube videos uh, and learning how to cook so that's honestly where most of my training has come from like I learned the basics obviously through the family but then to really sort of build on what I knew it was YouTube. Her second question is what's your favorite dish to make? My favorite dish to make would be steak and potatoes but not any potatoes. Now in the UK you make twice cooked chips and of course Heston Blumenthal made thrice cooked chips but let me tell you. Uh, the people, my people, the Sindhis have been making thrice cooked chips like from generations. So what we do is we parboil the potatoes, we squash them, we fry them once and then we fry them a second time. And this is called an alu tuk, which basically is a thrice cooked potato chip but it's, we squash it up like a roast potato a bit. So that with a nice good steak, that's what I would love to cook any given day of the week. Her next question is, what's your favorite favorite dish to eat i guess it would be the same thing but uh, i think now i like to try different things uh, so maybe i would say i think bangkok duck is my favorite thing to eat yep hands down the duck you get at this restaurant called mk in bangkok is my go-to favorite dish anytime anywhere that is what i would want to eat all day long her last and final question is what's the best thing or your favorite thing that your wife makes my wife makes many many delicious things lots of incredible desserts and but my favorite thing that she makes i think is her chibata bread oh my god that is otherworldly absolutely a huge fan of bread 
though I'm on keto, <laughs> but when I'm off keto, the ciabatta bread she makes is to die for. Next question now. All right, Kim Skinner asks, how common are personal gardens in your part of India? So I'm in Bombay city and in Bombay open spaces are few, big houses exist but uh, most of it is apartments so personal gardens are very few. Like you, if you can afford a house with a garden, man you must be rolling in some big money. Because first of all there are very few houses with gardens left. So the apartment complex I live in has four ground floor flats which have small gardens but nobody does like any gardening there like vegetables and all but it's just like a decorative garden but those are prime property now like i mean i think we bought this flat when this area was not really developed so my dad was able to whatever get it my grandfather who actually bought it was able to get it at a reasonable price but today it's i mean the prices in bombay are comparable to new york like it is so expensive it's not even funny all right next question Kendra Cuckoo asks, how did you get into the kind of music you make? Are there many metal bands in India and who inspired you the most? I can do all this in one go so that's why I'm answering it together. I would say I got into heavy metal music through my friends and the funny thing is that you know uh, they actually made fun of me for not listening to metal music and I was listening to pop music and Backstreet Boys uh, at the time and I don't know when I got into metal something just clicked and my passion has not diminished over the last 22 years that I've been listening to the music now I think and funnily enough I got into way more extreme metal than my friends did in fact at one point I was the one listening to the heavy stuff and they were listening to still Metallica and you know Megadeth and all and I was into Cannibal Corpse and DSI and all. But yeah it's interesting and now a uh, couple of my friends are not even into metal they are more into uh, you know other genres of music so that's how I got into it. Uh, are there many metal bands in India? Yes quite a few and that's I think because metal is the kind of music that sort of inspires a lot of passion from its listeners and it makes you want to play the music not just be like a guy who listens to it you want to play the guitar you want to form a band it really like mm, empowers you so yeah there are a lot of metal bands in India and um, if I had to say one person or one metal band or one metal artist who inspired me the most, I would have to say Devin Townsend. Uh, when I started out, this band he had called Strapping Young Lad was my favorite band in the entire world. And even today, I love the music he's putting out. He's not making as aggressive music as he did back in the day, but whatever he does is amazing. So yeah, I hope that answers your question. All right, David Lewis asks, how can you be so suave and impressive at cooking at the same time? I don't know man, practice. Practice makes perfect for anything you want to do in life. Mithila Anand asks, would love more info about the keto flu. Oh uh, well, I mean you get so much information online about these things but personally I did go through the keto flu. I just wanted to lie down in my bed and just like do nothing uh, but I think if you have your electrolytes if you eat properly you can sort of bypass the keto flu and I think the the reason for me is uh, for that happening with me was because I also work from home which is not a good thing when you have the keto flu if you're in an office you still have to kind of be aware so you sort of you can still pass that keto flu much easier than if you're sitting at home and doing nothing then you just go to the bed and lie down and you're like I'll work later so yeah hope that answers your question Lisa asks Lisa Ferrier says I would love to know more about how to make a lovely keto dessert that is sweet tangy but not always made out of cheese kind of had it with cheesecake any ideas uh, sure I, I I mean I don't know about uh, tangy but the keto chocolate cake on uh, our headbangers kitchen channel is a fantastic dessert that's not got cheese in it and uh, I'm sure we have a a couple of more recipes the panna cotta uh, it does not have any cheese in it though it is still dairy but uh, that's my go-to keto dessert now because it's just so easy to make you can find all these recipes on the channel uh, the keto tiramisu that has mascarpone cheese but it doesn't really taste like a cheesecake I guess it's 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 my favorite dessert in the entire world I think keto not keto tiramisu tiramisu in general but I'll take a keto tiramisu any given day Melissa Anzellino asks, I would like to know, do people recognize you in public from your YouTube channel? Would you ever consider writing a book about keto? 
well given that keto is not really big in india and my audience is largely based out of the usa uh, i don't really get recognized much in fact i probably get recognized more for my band and my music in india at least but i did run into people here and there who do watch headbangers kitchen uh, once in the supermarket a lady asked me hey do you make videos on youtube and uh, my brother met an old friend of his after like 10 years and that guy was like you know i watch your channel and i was like oh that's pretty cool so uh, i guess to some extent yeah and uh, uh, a book well we do have a book in the works or well, we're planning to put out a small book we'll see how that goes if that does okay if it does well you know what maybe i'll do more but for now that's the plan all right harsh tiwari has two questions he says while you've done other weeks i was wondering how cool would it be if you did a non keto week some might call it defeating the whole purpose but i think i'd really be interested in watching you do a couple of oriental dishes on a non keto week so well i guess it's up to you the viewers if you want a non keto week just leave me a comment below if you'd rather i stick with the keto week but do a keto oriental week put a comment below the thing is i will say this it's very easy to make a dish keto and it's very easy to make a keto dish non keto it just takes a little bit of racking your brains in my opinion and harsh's second question is well where on the topic will there be an oriental week on keto i mean on headbanger's kitchen not on keto oh my god brain freeze uh, but sure oriental week coming up sometime after pizza week and pasta week okay uh, and maybe another dessert week but i will do an oriental week cuz i love oriental food all right tony lozzi says your favorite metal bands Well my go to favorites have always been Behemoth, Blind Guardian, Camelot, Dimmu Borgir, Emperor, Old Man's Child, Cannibal Corpse, Dear Side, Vader, Hate Eternal, Cryptopsy, Septic Flesh, Obscura. I mean look I just metal has got so many bands and I love too many bands but hopefully you get an idea of some of my favorite bands. Of course I do love the Metallica, Iron Maiden, Judas Priest, Pantera, Sepultura, <laughs> Fear Factory. That's a lot of names. Anyway, enough jibber jabber. Next question. Sandy Tucker Rodriguez asks, "Can you speak on veggies and fat? They can be keto too." Uh, I'm not sure I understand the question, but uh, vegetables, good. Maybe potatoes not so good. Turnips not so good on keto. Carrots not really. Corn not really. But everything else, green and leafy, is good. and fats i guess yep you want the olive oil you want the bacon fat you want the beef fat you want uh, avocado oil the good stuff um, i'm not sure what more i can say on the subject but if you can elaborate a little bit more on your question i'll try and answer it in the next video jennifer hunter says what other music do you enjoy listening to have you ever tried a fusion between heavy metal and indian musical instruments I'll answer your second question first. My band's latest album, my band is called Demonic Resurrection. The latest album is called Dash Avatar, and on this album because we chose Indian mythology as our subject matter, we did include a sitar in one song and we have tabla playing in a couple of tracks and we even have the flute in one song. So I leave a link to where you can listen to the music in the description box below and also at the end of this video. check it out let me know what you think so the other kind of music that i like listening to i do enjoy some 80s and 90s retro music pop rock uh, i also do like some alternative stuff like pearl jam uh, bush uh, nirvana uh, not i'm not big on all these bands but i do like listening to it from time to time guns and roses but it's still very largely in the rock and metal and connecting spectrums i'm not really into jazz at all or, or even the blues uh maybe a little bit of 80s and 90s techno music i i kind of dig you know like mortal kombat the theme song robert miles a few tracks here and there but largely i'm i'm a metal guy i'm sorry you know but yeah next question all right nahid amin asks I am not able to get into ketosis and I do not like measuring food. I think my fat is low. I work 12 hours a day in an active retail environment. I eat lots of green leafy vegetables, avocado, started cauliflower rice. Can you do a video explaining meals on the go in keto? I have access to salads, cauliflower rice and protein at work. Request, would you make keto fat bombs recipes? I am dying to make the chocolate cake. Whoa, that's a lot. So first up I do want to say that you seem to be eating keto the only thing you need to add is a tablespoon of olive oil on everything you eat 
I don't see why you would not be on keto eating this kind of a diet. Um, you know, I, I'm a bit stumped. I'll have to sort of dig into this personally. You can send me a message on Facebook. We'll try and get a little more into detail on this question. And the last question for this video from Sanjay S. I am 5 kgs away from my goal weight and I was wondering what are your thoughts on maintaining weight post keto. Keto is not something I intend to do long term. What about you? Alright Sanjay. So to answer your question, last year I was 1.4 kilos away from my goal weight and I then thought to myself, what now? And I looked at myself in the mirror and while I was thinner than before, my body still didn't have much shape. So I realized I need to start exercising and that's why this year I actually started working out, doing weights, uh, some HIIT as well and that's the thing I guess. So my thought is that if you are going to stop keto, you are definitely going to put back 2 to 3 kilos at least. So my plan was to drop 3 kilos at least more than what my goal weight was if I plan to get off keto and then not go into a rampage of eating junk food. I need to then eat very balanced meals. I'm still always going to be low carb. I don't think low carb is going to change. Maybe for dinner, I will ensure that I don't eat carbs at all. No sweets, nothing. In the afternoon, eat a meal with whatever I want, you know, regular rice, dal, whatever. And work out regularly so that you're not gaining weight. And most important is be strict from Monday to Friday Saturday, Sunday for dinner, you can have a cheat meal, have your alcohol, have a good time with your friends and get back on the wagon Monday. And I think if you find that balance in life, you won't really go back to your fat self if that's what you're worried about. So that is my plan in life in general. Of course, this is provided I actually get to my goal weight, then lose that extra weight and then actually tone up my body, you know, provided I reach that. Anyway. That's all the questions for this video. I thank you all for sending in your questions. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comments below. And I will see you on the next episode, Curry Week of Headbangers Kitchen. Cheers and keep ketoing. Alright folks, if you've never seen Bacon Tadka, please click here and watch Bacon Tadka. For the people who want to check out my band with the Indian instruments, click here and watch the lyric video that we put out. And of course, subscribe to Headbangers Kitchen and support us on Patreon if you like what we do. Thank you all. Have a good day.